Hello everyone, myself Ravi Kumar KS, I am working as assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering, Maharaja Institute of Technology, Mysore. So my specialization is uh, machine design. So today I will be handling the uh, design of machine elements. My co-faculties will be uh, Professor uh, Abhilash and Professor Purushottam. So we will get into the subject design of machine elements. So this uh, is a vast subject, it is uh, split into two parts, design of machine elements 1 and design of machine elements 2 because there are a uh, number of uh, machine elements, uh, uh, it cannot be accommodated in single uh, semester uh, syllabus. So it is split into two different parts, 1 and 2 and you will be studying this in two different semester. So we will get into design of machine elements 1. The subject code being 18ME52, the credits allotted for this particular subject is 4. So this is the syllabus. In the module 1, you are going to learn about introduction and uh, design for static strength. That means to say when a component is subjected to static loading, how it behaves. So about which you are going to study in the first module. Then in the second module, when a member is subjected to impact loading as well as fatigue loading, what is the behavior of that particular uh, component that you are going to study in the second module and in the from the third module actual design of elements starts. Uh, this is one of the machine element the shafts and keys and couplings are one of the uh, machine elements. So and in the module 4 you are going to learn about design of uh, joints, permanent joints, riveted as well as uh, welded joints and in the module 5 you are going to learn about design of temporary joints like threaded fasteners and power screws. So this is the overview of the Syllabus, then COs, that means to say course outcome, once you study this subject, after the, the completion of uh, study on this subject, you will be in a position to describe the use of codes and standards used in the design process, that is CO1, course outcome 1. Then CO2, you will be in a position to analyze the behavior of machine components. So these are all the machine components, you are going to analyze the behavior of those machine components under static impact and fatigue loading that you will be studying uh, in first two modules. Then CO3, utilize the standard failure theories and fatigue analysis to develop safety factors for machine elements. So there are uh, five theories of failures are there, so you are going to use those five theories of failure to calculate the factor of safety in uh, the CO3. Then uh, course outcome 4 calculate the dia of shaft based on strength and rigidity. So based on the stress developed in the member and based on the deformation developed in the member, you are going to calculate the diameter of the shaft, then design on, design and evaluate various uh, types of uh, couplings, threaded partners and power screws. So here you are going to design it for the actual hand calculation as well as you are going to evaluate like uh, whether the design is safe or not. and you are going to recommend certain dimensions. So that is what you are going to do in evaluating various types of couplings as well as threaded fasteners like that. In uh, CO5, calculate design parameters of uh, permanent and temporary joints. So permanent joint being uh, riveted joints and uh, welded joints and uh, the temporary joints being knuckle joint as well as the cotter joint. Next, the exam pattern for you people will be for 100 marks and that 100 marks will be converted into 60 marks plus 40 marks you have to score in the internal assessment. So internal assessment 40 marks and semester and examination 60 marks. This is what the exam pattern. Then you will be having the 5 modules. Okay. The, out, the overview of uh, this particular subject, so once you study this uh, particular subject, design of machine elements 1, you will going to gain the knowledge, with the use of that particular knowledge, you can able to analyze uh, the various behavior of the component subjected to various loading conditions like impact, fatigue, as well as uh, the static uh, conditions. And also you will be in a position to provide or uh, recommend the diameters or the, or maybe other uh, dimensions of the components. And uh, through this course, you can learn how to design all the machine components like uh, shafts, uh, joints, 
fasteners or uh, springs, uh, gears, etc. So, this is the overview of the subject design of machine elements. Okay, okay let us uh, look into the textbook. We can uh, refer Shigley's Mechanical Engineering Design by Richard and Keith, then Design of uh, Machine Elements by V.B. Bendari, then some of the reference book you can refer Machine Design by Norton, Design of Machine Elements Volume 1 by T. Krishna Rao. Then in our discussion, we have uh, considered Design of Data Handbook written by Mahadevan and Balavir Reddy. Okay, we will get into the first module. In the first module, the title of the first module is Introduction and Design for Static Strength. In introduction, you are going to learn about uh, the definition of machine design, phases followed in the machine design, then uh, engineering materials and its properties, then some review of stresses. These things you are going to study in the introduction part. Then design for static strength, uh, whenever a component is subjected to static loading condition, how that particular uh, component is going to behave. That is what you are going to learn in design for static strength. So, we will start our discussion with the definition of machine design. Definition goes with uh, use of scientific principle, technical information and imagination in the description of a machine or a mechanical system to perform specific function with maximum efficiency and economy. This is what the definition of machine design. So, if you just have a look at the definition, it starts with use because design of measurements is an application subject where uh, you want to make use of the uh, fundamental concepts you used in the previous semester. Okay, so those fundamental concepts being scientific principles like uh, the last you studied in the in your previous semesters like uh, Newton's law or D. Lambert's principles, uh, something like that. Then technical information, every material will be having its own technical information in the uh, form of uh, strength, hardness stiffness or uh, wear properties, something like that. So, these technical information will be listed in a book. That book is called as Design Data Handbook and Imagination. So, you will be having the imagination where you are going to prepare a certain, imagine certain model to specify the need in the description of a machine or a mechanical system. So, a machine or a mechanical system you are going to imagine and that should specify, uh, that should perform specific function to satisfy the need with efficiency and economy that should be there. So, this is the um, basic uh, definition of a machine design. Then coming to the next part, phases of design. So, Shigley, a famous uh, popular uh, designer, Shigley given us the beautiful uh, design model. This is the Shigley's design model. It starts with identification of a need. So, identification of a need means you should recognize some requirement or the need because uh, there should be someone to buy your product. Okay, uh, there must be a balance between demand and the supply. So, identification of the need means you need to recognize the need. A designer can get the need by market survey or the need can be communicated to a designer with the help of uh, his employer or customer or maybe his superior. So, there are so many ways to get the need. Then once the need is there, then you are going to think or imagination comes into picture. In your imagination, you are going to plan for a certain component or machine or a mechanical system to satisfy this particular need where you are going to plan. Okay. In the problem definition, then comes the synthesis where you are going to convert the imagination or a plan of action into reality. That is what synthesis using, uh, so, uh, using uh, some of the manufacturing uh, system you are going to use, you are going to fabricate the prototype in the synthesis, then analysis and optimization where you are going to <coughs> simulate a mathematical model to its actual physical behavior. It is what the analysis and optimization, if you can reduce the cost of the component without changing the, without affecting the functionality, then it is called as optimization that will be taken up where and then evaluation comes into picture. In the evaluation, you are going to actually test that prototype model in the laboratory for the actual uh, working condition. And if that particular uh, prototype fails to satisfy this particular need, then you are going to go back to the 
problem definition where you are going to redefine the problem and then you are going to synthesize for the redefined problem then analysis and optimization then again evaluate. So, this process will be continued uh, until you are go going to get a satisfied design to the recognize to the need recognized ok. After the design is passed in the evaluation then it is the presentation where you are going to communicate uh, the product to the market through advertisement or any other form that left to the marketing department.